Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Can Academy, wherein we will try to solve for this question right here. The velocity at the exit for this problem. Since in the last episode, we tried to solve for um, velocity at the throat, which is now 580. Uh, let me write that one down here. Velocity of the throat is 580 meters per second. Now, for this question right here, we are looking for the velocity at the exit. And take note, the velocity at the exit is supersonic, meaning to say that the Mach number is greater than 1, meaning to say that the velocity... In this region should be greater than our throat velocity. The equation that we will be using to solve for the throat velocity will still be the compressible flow energy equation. So let me write down the equation for convenience solutions. Uh, let me write that one down right here. Solutions. Right, so the equation to use is still the compressible flow energy equation. CPT1, V1 squared over 2 equals CPT2 plus V2 squared over 2. Okay. Now, 1 being the throat, 2 being the exit, all right? This is now our state 1. This is now our state 2. So let me just rearrange the equation right here by transferring CP2. Two to the left side. Right. And grouping like terms, we get CPT1 minus T2 plus, forgot that one, V1 squared over 2 divided 2. Okay. Multiplying both sides of the equation by 2, we get 2CPT1 minus T2 plus V1 squared equals V2 squared. And then let me just uh, remove that squared by getting the root of that term and also on these two terms right here. All right, so we now have our equation to get the velocity at the exit, and it's given by 2CP T1 minus T2 plus V1 squared. Substituting known values. Oops. Two CP or one thousand eight T one is the temperature at the throat, which is eight hundred thirty three Kelvin minus uh, three hundred Kelvin plus V1 squared is 580, that one is 0 0.23, 0 0.23 meters per sec, no, we will not include the units, squared. 
All right. So let's do the math here. Let us try to solve for this one first. Let me pull out my scientific calculator. Square root of... I know it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, let's try to use this one. Let's try to solve for that one. 833 minus 300 Kelvin times 1008 times 2 plus oh no okay let's write that one down One one million seventy four five hundred twenty eight plus the square of the five hundred eighty five hundred eighty point twenty three squared eighty point twenty three squared. Wait, what's happening? Five hundred eighty point twenty three squared. So it's 336 85. Add it with 1,074,528. Get the square root of that one. We get the velocity at the exit, which is. 1,187.94 meters per second, right? So how do, how do I know if my units came out correct? So let me try to erase this side. So that we can do a dimensional analysis. Right. So we get CP, the square root of CP. Joules, kilogram, Kelvin, times Kelvin, plus, um, this one is in units of velocity, so meters squared, I'm um, sorry, meters per second squared. Cancel that one out. Right, so this one we did this one already. That one is equal to meter squared second squared. Okay, what is the square root of two meter squared? Second squared. Yeah, there's something wrong with my equation right here. Let me just try to erase that one right here. All right, so to do this correctly, to do this in the right way, let me not try to distribute, let me just distribute CP right here. So we get joules, kilogram, kelvin, multiplied by kelvin, minus joules, 
kilogram Kelvin multiplied by Kelvin. Okay, meters squared, second squared. Right. I'm in the right track. So this one is equal to just meters squared per second squared. And that one is just equal to meter squared per second squared. And that one is just equal to meter squared per second squared. Cancel that one out. We get we get the square root of m squared over m squared, which is just equal to meters per second. Meters, uh, meter per second. So this is our solution for to get the velocity at the exit. How do I know that my velocity at the exit is correct? Since in the figure right here that the Mach number is indicated that it is greater than 1, therefore it must be greater than the speed of sound. And we know that the speed of sound is the value of the velocity we have at the throat so it's 580 meters per second now since we get 1187.94 meters per second our velocity at the exit is greater than what we have at the throat all right so that's for velocity at the exit.